the wet one back here again. It's a couple days before Christmas, and uh, I need to go out last minute Christmas shopping uh, today. Hopefully to find some stuff for my mom and for my niece and nephew and things like that. So that's what this video is gonna be. Last minute Christmas shopping for the family. Um, hopefully I can find some cool stuff for the kids or something, like some poppets or like Ethan wants like a, 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 a Pikachu plushie and something like that. I know he, like, I know he loves Necker toys. And Arya is going to be kind of a hard one, but I'm, I'm going to see if I can find her something she'll, she'll dig. So come along with me for this Vlogmas video. Hit that thumbs up button, and let's see what we can find the family for uh, Christmas today. Made it on over to the first stop of the day, the Palmdale Shopping Mall. Let's see if I can find anything for the babies in there today. All I know is if I don't find anything for them over here, I can go to the, uh, the Palmdale Mall, the actual big mall, and see if I can get them anything there. Like I know the babies love poppets. They're like these little toys where you can like we push these little things in and stuff. There's like different variations, you know, of these you know big ass poppets. And I know Ethan said something about a Squid Game plushie, but this is like a keychain. He don't need no keychain. But uh, they do have a lot of like little purse poppets. Maybe Arya might like something like that. A lot of poppets. They also have some really cool kind of like sweatshirts over here. Cheech and Chong. And, uh, you know, best buds. If you're fans of Cheech and Chong, they got some dope-ass shit over here. Pretty cool for hoodies. And back here by the food court, they have the little festive Christmas tree, you know, next to the fun zone uh, that's back there. I wonder what's in those boxes. Is there a present in there for me? No, they ain't shit in there. But that's uh, keep venturing off so we can actually find something. But you guys know, when I'm at this mall, I gotta come on over here to Zombie Torch Playthings. See what they got going on in there today. Hopefully something cool. It looks like they got some uh, new Squid Games toys uh, over here at the Zombie Torch Playthings. I don't know if Ethan would care for this. I think he would probably just like a plushie more. But uh, they do have some like new um, Funko Pops over here. Motorhead and a lot of the new art series uh, Funko Pops. Ethan and I are not really Funko Pop collectors or Funko Pop people. But you know, just had to come swing on by. And uh, I think uh, Chucky has escaped. Damn you, Charles Lee Ray. Getting out of this little mall right here. Found two little random things, one for Ethan, one for Aria uh, in there. But I'm still gonna go check the regular mall uh, right now. Like the, you know, the regular mall that has like, you know, like Burlington Coat Factory and shit like that in it. Let's see what we can find at the Antelope Valley Mall today. This mall does have a little setup right here of made up of balloons with Santa right here with a bunch of balloons. But what kind of, is that his nose? It kind of looks like a, like a, like a big cock going into his forehead or something. But I think the first place I'm going to be going into today is a box lunch. This place is jam-packed full of people right now. So many people in here, I can't even fucking think straight. Well guys, I was about to leave the store, but I see something behind the counter that uh, Ethan said that he was be interested in getting. Pikachu plushies. Who knows how much those things are, but... I might have to wait in this, wait in this mess over here. Oh, no, 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 no. $64.99 for a Pikachu plushie? You must be at your goddamn mind. $64.99. And since when do the malls have little stands outside where you can buy blocks of cheese and uh, summer sausage? a lot of sausage but seriously do plush animals is that how much they sell for these days $64 man the mall is flowing with people for the holiday season let's head on into hot topic see if they have anything worth the shit well they do have other plushies here they have a little Pikachu keychain and uh, yeah even that's $13 for a little keychain but si I still can't get over that $64 $64 uh, for like a big plush like seriously, let me see how much is this one? How much is this guy going for? But there's this booth out here. It's like throw throw burrito Do the, the uh, Dodgeball card game where they toss little plastic burritos at each other That's kind of random and uh, you know the game the game during the pandemic man mouth guard challenge Hell yeah, I got to get up on that shit and they have a big stand here of all kinds of poppets very kind of expensive wise very kind of expensive wise. I know Ethan would love this big ass 
uh, Squid Games uh, plushie. 80 bucks. 80 bucks. I just may have gotten one, a smaller one, at the other place, but uh, 80 bucks? Hmm. Let's keep walking and see if we find anything. Ooh! Candy, stay away. Stay away! This mall is a little too expensive for me today. Let's head on over to a place that's a little bit more affordable for my uh, low income ass. And of course, that place is Walmart. Let's head on in and see what Walmart has to offer us today. Well, in the toy section over here at Walmart, trying to see if I can find anything cool for the babies. They do have some Toy, st toy Story toys over here, but they already got a handful of them. I think I may be getting some Ethan some Hot Wheels, not sure yet. This is kind of like the old school nin uh, Ninja Turtles over here. Like the kind of mold that I remember uh, back in the like 90s and late 80s. That's, that, that's kind of rad. And this little kid is everywhere the last handful of years. Ryan from Ryan's Toy Barn started off on YouTube and now has his own Nickelodeon show. And like has his, all these different little toys uh, with, his, with his likeness on it and stuff it's kind of crazy like everywhere you see his face like even like little globes uh with ryan's toy barn stuff on it i know i know my niece and nephew like his stuff too and even my buddy uh phil moore you know the host of nick arcade from the nickelodeon back in the day is i believe one of the producers of uh ryan's toy barn or we're ryan's toy world or whatever the hell it's called on nickelodeon that's kind of cool um, I have a handful, of th handful of things in my hand right now. I may be getting, just getting out of Walmart. Got some stuff in there, but uh, let's head on home. I'll show you guys a little bit of things I did get them, uh, at least the babies. Back home right now. About to show you guys what I picked up for my niece and nephew uh, out there in a while today. Uh, not a whole lot of stuff. Just you know, some, some stuff. Uh, right here. Uh, let me show you guys what I picked up my uh, nephew Ethan uh, for Christmas today. Uh, he was asking for some plushies and things like that, so I found some for him. I ended up finding a Pikachu one. It wasn't that $60, $70 one. Uh, that, that was at the mall today, and it's now it's starting to rain out. It's starting to rain out right now, and today's like Christmas Eve Eve. You know, tomorrow, tomorrow as you're seeing this video, is Christmas Eve. And um, yeah, I picked him up a Pikachu plushie. Uh, he also was, he also keeps asking about, you know, hey, hey, I hope Santa can get me some, uh, some Hot Wheels. So I picked him up two Hot Wheels cars. He has a couple of them in his, collect his little, you know, toy room already. So I picked him up two Hot Wheels cars right there. And he's really into like, squid I don't know, I don't know if he gives a shit about Squid Games really, but he like, he kind of watches it when my sister watches it. And I always hear that little, like, the little song, like, little song that's, I guess that's, that's, that's being said in that, in that show all the time on his iPad. I don't know what he's watching, but, uh, I got him a Squid Games, a Squid Games plushie, uh, right here. He's into, he's into, you know, stuffed animals and stuff at the moment, so... That's what he likes and things like that. So I got him a Pikachu, uh, two Hot Wheels, and a uh, Squid Games uh, plushie right there. And also, guys, when I got back, when I when I was coming on my on my way home today, uh, I almost forgot to tell you, I stopped by the PO box and there was a couple things here. So I'm gonna open this up too after I show you guys uh, what I got my niece uh, right here, which I which I got her, which which was something simple. Something simple, but it's kind of cool because she's she's in the poppets, you know those little things you keep pushing, those little things I was showing you in the video earlier, and she, you know, she's a girl and she loves her purses, so I found her a poppets uh, butterfly purse. So there's like a zipper right here and a little chain that you can like put around your neck and stuff, and you can like you know do, do that little poppet game or whatever, however they do it these days. But I thought it was kind of cool, like a little poppet purse uh for aria right there keep in mind they're kids they're simple they like that they like what they like you know and i also got her um her own stuffed animal too but a care bear oh walmart receipt i also got her uh care bear right here the cheer cheer bear i uh, saw this one at walmart uh you know today right there so i ended up getting her this one uh right here sorry it's like rain on it because like, like i said it's starting to rain outside so you can like see the gloss on the maybe you can see the gloss on it but that's what i got this that's what i got the babies right here uh, for Christmas. I mean, I, there's, there's some other things too, but this is what I got today. But uh, we are, now, let's move on to the packages uh, that came to my P.O. box today. Open these ones up real quick for you. Uh, this first one right here is coming from Dream Big Productions, also known as Plush Bat Fan. And this person is always sending stuff to like the, my niece and nephew and things. And uh, let's see, let's see what's in this one. <laughs> okay. Um... We, 
Uh, we, 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 we have some crayons. We have three crayons. We have a green, a red, and a blue crayon right there. So I don't really need to show those ones. And we have a note. It says, here are three crayons for, uh, for us with the alphabet coloring page. Okay. That was, that was all. That was in that package was uh, three crayons. We got three crayons. Thank you, Plush Bat Fan, for sending the crayons. Uh, over here, uh, but next up we we have a letter. This is coming from Anthony Chabot uh, right here, and this is um it was sent to my PO box. So let's open this one up and see uh, what the card says from Anthony. Anthony's been a, a long time viewer uh, and supporter of the channel here, o always in the comments of the video. We open the card up right here. You see Santa Claus next to the Christmas tree. It says Happy Holidays. Uh, you open up the card right here. And it says, to Brendan, Ethan, Aria, and family, uh, uh, your buddy, Anthony, favorite YouTuber, Anthony Chabot, P.S. I got 30 subscribers, I think it says, I'm not sure, I'm not sure, uh, I think it says 30 subscribers, but thank you, Anthony, uh, for sending this really cool Christmas card over, man, I really do appreciate it, and thank you for always watching and uh, supporting the videos, I really do appreciate it, my man. Uh, the next letter up over here, uh, I'm not sure who it's coming from because I can't, I can't read the, the, the writing on it, but let's open this one up and see if it's a little bit different on the, on the card here. Uh, thank you guys for taking the time to send Christmas cards this year. I think, that, I think that's super nice of you guys. Thank you. Um, let's see. But like I said, if anybody ever wants to send anything to me or anybody in my family, uh, something, we, well, uh, the, my address to the P.O. box is down below in the description box, and everything that we get sent is opened up on video, but here's this Christmas card, it says, home for the holidays, you got a Christmas tree with a truck on it right there, and, uh, we open this one up, and, uh, this is what we get in there, let me see here, what's this, oh, we got some Christmas stickers, we got some Christmas stickers with, like, Frosty the Snowman, uh, Gingerbread, Gingerbread Man and stuff, that's pretty cool, that's pretty cool. I'll show those to the babies when they get home. Uh, it says, uh, Brendan, Merry Christmas 2021 to you and your whole family. Also, Happy New Year uh, 2022. God bless you and your family, Logan. Well, this is coming from Logan. Thank you, Logan. Thank you, Logan, for sending this really nice Christmas card. Thank you for taking the time to do that, my friend, and for watching and supporting the videos. I really do appreciate it. Thank you very much, my buddy. And we also have one more letter, but I'm going to open up this package right here first. This one's coming from my buddy James Green, uh, right here. This is, a, I believe, if this is the same person I'm thinking of, this is definitely a longtime YouTube friend of mine uh, on here, Jam and Music Man uh, here on YouTube, I believe. I, unless, unless it's like a different person, but I think it's the same. I think it's my same buddy, James Green. Uh, we got a, a Christmas card in here. It says Brendan. There's one other item inside here. Uh, let's see, open this one up and see what James Green. We got a nice little Christmas card. Uh, right there, it says, uh, Jolly Wishes. Uh, you open it up right here, and it says... Okay, oh, okay there we go. I, th I thought it was like a musical card, because it, like, it was like double thick or something. I thought it was like a musical card. Uh, it says, uh, Brendan, thank you for being my friend for all these years. Uh, I hope 2022 is a great uh, year for you. Uh, James Green, a.k.a. Jammin' Music Man. Yep, it's my buddy Jammin' Music Man right here. Thank you, James, uh, for sending this card on over. But it looks like there's also a DVD uh, in this pack right here. And we got... Oh, shit. Can you give me a hell yeah? Hell yeah. The best of 1996 uh, Attitude uh, right here. I believe this is like the, like the best of matches uh, from the Attitude era from 1996. Featuring like Stone Cold Steve Austin, one of my favorite... Uh, you know, wrestlers that to come out of the Attitude Era. You know, The Rock too, of course, but Stone Cold, man. Him and his rival against Vince McMahon and stuff. Dude, this is the 25th anniversary uh, of, um, with the Attitude Era now. But, dude, this is like the best of matches. I'm definitely going to have to uh, pop this one in right here. Uh, you got, like, Big Van Vader, Diesel up in here, Jericho, Mankind, Bret Hart versus Sid Vicious, it looks like, on here. I saw this one recently been released in, at Walmart. I just didn't end up never getting it. Dude, thank you so much, James, uh, James, man, James Green. You're the man. Thank you so much, my brother. But guys, I have one more package here uh, for you guys to open right here. Thank you. This is dope, dude. This is dope. Merry Christmas, James. Oh, actually, you know, I have one more letter, and then I have this, this big box uh, right here. 
So let's open up this letter. This letter is coming from Plush Bat Fan as well. The same person that, that just uh, sent the crayons. That just mailed the crayons. Let's see what this is. I open this up right here. And he usually sends like gas charts or like um, things like that. Or it's like uh, his uh, his score games. Because him and his friends are in a video game tournament. And it says, uh, Wet Movie 1. Inside this package is two rare vintage Japanese machine slot tokens for you to keep as a survivor we currently have four large size partial color fruit bats for our plush bat collection uh the following table shows the giant bright color blush pack I i'm not sure what i'm looking at exactly right here but you i always get sent like charts and things like that um Thank you for sending that on over, man. This is from Dream Big Productions. I believe it's the same name on Instagram. If you guys want to follow uh, Plush Bat Fan on Instagram. So this one must be coming from him, too. Yeah, this is Dream Big Productions as well. Let's see uh, what's in this one. And even though it might have just been said in the letter. Let's open this up and see what Plush Bat Fan has in store for us today. Ah, let's see. All right, here we go. Merry Christmas, everybody. Oh, okay. This is another item for the babies. Um, Imagine Desk Learning Center. Let's color while we learn our ABCs. Touch the go circle on your coloring page. So, so I guess this is what the crayons were for. Uh, earlier, you put like the piece of paper uh, on there with you the- You can do it. Touch the go circle on your coloring page. Yeah. <laughs> that, that I guess that's what the coloring thing is for. People, you know, the kids can put like their um paper right here and like you know color the cat and stuff. Dude, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Another leap leap leapfrog like learning center system thing kind of thing. But uh, that's all I have to show and talk to you guys about today. Thank you so much, Plush Bat Fan, uh, for always sending some uh, cool stuff. I really do appreciate it. And thanks for James Green and everybody else that watches and supports the videos. It really does mean a lot to me. Even if you're just watching and commenting, hitting the thumbs up button and stuff, that all, that all counts as support as well. And I just want to say thank you guys uh, for sticking with me all this time uh, on this YouTube channel and my journey that I go on here. If you guys like this video, hit that thumbs up button. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for another Vlogmas video. I'm going to make a video every day until the end of this year. So stay tuned. Let's see what else I can come up with.